Hello students, welcome to this video. I am very happy to see you today. In today's lesson I will be talking to you about partial or incomplete possessives. I tried to give you a definition in the notes section in two nouns in which the second noun is excluded implied nouns are possessed. This means that there uh, a partial possessive is um, composed of two nouns in which the second noun is excluded. For example, here, I have to run to Joe's. So implied nouns are possessed. What is imply? To imply something. To know it is there. I have to run to Joe's tonight. To Joe's what? Where is the other noun? To Joe's restaurant? To Joe's house? Which is the implied noun? But if you tell somebody you know, I have to run to Joe's tonight, they will know what you're talking about. So they will imply that it is, for example, Joe's restaurant. So the implied noun, or the noun that is left out, is restaurant. So this is the noun that is being possessed. The restaurant of Joe. Joe's restaurant. But you can imply it by using partial possessives. In English spoken language, we use partial or incomplete possessives all the time. For example, I, am, I have to run to the doctors. I have to run to the doctors. Instead of saying I have to run to the doctor's office. So the implied noun is office. The implied noun is being possessed by the doctor. I am going to run to the doctor's office. All right, next one. His IQ, intelligence coefficient, for those of you who don't know, his IQ is higher than his co-workers. His co-workers. We are talking about intelligence coefficient. His IQ is higher than his co-workers. And we are using a partial possessive. Which noun do you think is implied? Which noun do you think is being possessed? IQ, right? This here is the implied noun. His IQ is higher than his co-worker's IQ. This is a partial possessive form, an incomplete possessive form. But again, we use this all the time in spoken language in English. Next, Shelley's house is bigger than Alice's. Shelley's house. This is very easy because we have the noun here as in here. So we know which is the implied noun. Not like here. You would have to know who is talking and who is being spoken of to know which noun is implied. I have to run to Joe's tonight. If you know Joe, you will know if you're going to his restaurant, to his bar, to his house. If you do not know Joe, you will not know which noun is implied. Well, back to this one. Shelley's house is bigger than Alice's. Since we are talking about a house, we know that this is the implied noun. So we could say Shelley's house is bigger than Alice's house. But since this is a partial possessive, this is fine like this. And the last one is, we will meet at mom's. If I tell all of my sisters, hey, Liz, Jesse, we are going to meet at mom's at three. Do you think, which do you think will be the implied noun? At mom's house, probably. At mom's place. Probably, you know, you could imply many nouns, 
We will meet at mom's house. We will meet at mom's um, restaurant. We will meet at mom's bar. Or we will meet, maybe you were, we will meet at a cafe named mom's, at mom's cafe. <laughs> you know, you never know. But well, the point or the aim of this lesson is for you to know that partial possessives are always used and an implied noun is always in, involved. Well, next I will give you some example exercises so that you can practice with me. All right, now you are going to help me figure out which noun is implied. All right, the first example here says, Fabi's camera is as good as Dave's. We are talking about a camera is as good as Dave's. So the implied noun is camera. So you could say, Fabi's camera is as good as Dave's camera. But to save space and words, you could use partial possessives or incomplete possessives. Fabi's camera is as good as Dave's, period. And that's it. Forget about this. We will know that we are talking about a camera. All right, the next one says, I am going to the principal's and tell him about the fight. <laughs> to the principal's what? To the principal's office could be the noun implied. To the principal's place. To the principal's house. But well, we all know that all principals in schools have offices and we don't know, we don't say we are going to the principal's house and tell him about the fight. No, that sounds stupid and kind of weird in place either. So we are going to use office. We're going, this is a implied noun. But since it is a partial possessive or an incomplete possessive, it is okay not to use the other noun. All right, the last one says, Claire's learning style is just like Kim's. Remember that a noun isn't only a tangible thing or a thing that can be perceived by the senses. Thing also includes ideas, thoughts, all right? So Claire's learning style is just as Kim's. So the the noun implied here is learning style. So you could say Claire's learning style is just like Kim's learning style. You could say that, but it is better to use a partial possessive in this format of a sentence. Claire's learning style is just like Kim's, period. We already know what we are talking about. In this one, we could imply what we are talking about. In this one, we know what we are talking about, so we do not need to uh, write the noun again or write the noun itself, all right? Next, I will leave you some homework. Remember to do it because if you don't use English, you are definitely going to lose English. Now for homework. You are going to write four sentences using partial possessives or the partial possessive form in this case, partial possessives and write the noun implied in parentheses. <laughs> if you have a workbook, please do your homework in your workbook. We have some extra examples there. And if you do not have one, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. And I really hope that this was of use. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. I'm talking to you about possessive and plurals of compound nouns. 
What are compound nouns?